Welcome back. Um, Eric, you were mentioning earlier something about undeclared war. Mm, but yeah. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, but don't these things that na, we experience natin, yung mga ibang bansa rin naman na experience. So parang why does it seem so bleak uh, at, at least in the way you were talking about it? Uh, th th that's why I paraphrased my, my statement based on those three questions. Mm -hmm. For example, are we at peace or are we at war? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, I can cite examples. How many people have died from this 40-year uh, war with the communists and with the MNLF and then now the MILF? So is that a sign of peace? Mm -hmm. Now, second question. Is this the tenement of foreign terrorists? Yes or no? Now, people know, can answer that question by themselves. Meron bang mga terorista sa ating bansa o wala? Kasi pwede mo, ah, wala, wala. Eh, di, sige, di wala. Mm. <laughs> pwede naman ganun, no? Third question, may mga bansa bang interesadong uh, kubkubin ang ating teritoryo at putol-putulin? Isama na natin dyan ng, hindi ko nabanggit kanina, ang Amerikano. Kaya, mm. saka makakita ng US Ambassador na pumupunta, nakipag-uusap sa MILF, mm. eh kung tayo, ang Philippine Ambassador natin, pumunta doon sa, sa Al-Qaeda at makipag-uusap din at alamin ko ano problema sa mga Amerikano. Ano, ano sa palagay niyo ang gagawin ng mga Amerikano? Tayo, pinapayagan natin ng, itong Amerikano. Uh, pumunta, makipag-usap sa pinuno ng MILF at ba't hindi sila ginugulo? Sapagkat malalim na <laughs> malalim na historia ang nangyari sa pagitan ng Pilipinas at ng Amerika at sapagkat sa kaduluduluhan nito sabi ng mga Chino, People's Republic of China follow where the Americans go follow where the oil is sapagkat mayaman ang Mindanao <laughs> sa oil, sa gas, sa mga natural resources. At ano ibig anong punto de vista? Anong pinakadulo ng sinasabi ko? Gusto ng Amerikano na magkaroon ng MOA AD mm -hmm. para sa Pilipinas. Bakit? Sapagkat naniniwala sila pag may MOA AD, magkaroon ng uh, sariling uh, substate ang mm -hmm. MILF. Mas madali silang kausapin, mas madaling magkaroon ng kontrata na yung mga natural resources ng MILF under MILF uh, management Pwedeng kausapin, magkaroon ng joint exploration, on top of that, baka magkaroon ng U.S. military presence dito sa lugar sa Mindanao. Actually, maganda yung sinasabi mo ngayon eh, because I think na-appreciate yung audience yung gano'ng kakompleks yung issue ng mm. national security. Kasi on one hand, sinasabi mo na dapat uh, makipag-alliance tayo with the U.S. vis-a-vis yes. -vis yung claim natin sa yes. kalayaan against yes. China. Yes. Pero at the same time, Pero sinasabi mo naman interest. na may problema rin tayo perhaps yes. with the Americans as far as the MILF is concerned. Because foreign policy should be dictated into your best selfish interest. Yun. Hindi lang national interest, but selfish national interest. That's how we oh. should be, it should be dictated. Although, pwede natin din sabihin sa mga kababayan natin na if ever, for example, nagkaroon ng problema ang Pilipinas, hindi natin dapat sisihin din ang China or America because yes. they're just doing their thing. At so, the end of the day, we have to uh, blame ourselves. Because it's our, hindi natin pinabayaan yung... Ah, pinabaya yung uh, uh, you know, vigilance is required to maintain liberty and our democracy without this. In fact, without uh, learned leaders in the presence of the, of the national theater, what we are now dealing with are, I'm sorry, dunces that are running this country. <laughs> let's, let's talk about terrorists. And uh, you brought, let, first of all, the external terrorists. You were the one who asked, meron bang foreign terrorists dito sa ating bansa? Oh, meron nga bang foreign terrorists dito sa ating bansa? Jema oh, which has connections with Al-Qaeda. Mm -hmm. So you're talking about Abu Sayyaf group, which has also connections with the... Uh, uh, Islamist uh, terrorists. So, but presumably, itong mga ito na nandito, walang permission without from our government. Of course. Of course. Okay. Buti hindi nagagalit yung mga ibang bansa, like for example, the Americans, who seem to be the most biggest target ng mga terrorists na to. The fact na we are, in a way, harboring itong mga terrorists na to. Well, we're not actually harboring them. Kaya nga, pinapahanap yung mga katawan ng mga namatay. Eh. These are supposed to be Malaysian terrorists who are mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. But the fact is, uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry to say this, but in this part of Asia, it is Malaysia which is the bully here. That's why in my conversation with Nur Miswari, when I asked uh, Brother Nur, I said, Brother Nur, how come the Malaysians are playing a, a, a bigger role here in Asia? And he says, Eric, because they are neo-colonialist. Neo mm -hmm. What's the basis for this? And that's why I made the research. If you make research all over ASEAN, it is not the Philippines only that has problems with Malaysia. You go to Brunei, about 1,500 hectares of Brunei has been taken over by Malaysia or has been claimed by, or occupied or claimed by Malaysia. You go to Indonesia, you have Sipadan, um, uh, and, and two other islands, uh, which is Indonesian-owned, which now the Malaysians are claiming. That's why in mm -hmm. 2009, there, there was almost a shooting, a shooting war, naval uh, you know, uh, warfare between uh, 
the Navy of Mal uh, Malaysia and Indonesia. In 2010, oh. there were Indonesian maritime officers that were arrested by Malaysia. Mm -hmm. You go to Thailand, four, uh, three provinces and five districts in one, in one province, Sukhalang province, uh, Narahiwat, uh, Yala, and I forget the other one. Mm -hmm. These are all experiencing secessionist movements on the Malaysian side of the border of Thailand. Mm -hmm. Who do you think is supporting and funding the secessionist movement? It's also the Malaysians. So it's not only the Philippines that is facing this, this problem. This is why when we discuss the problem with the MILF, I'm asking why is Malaysia hmm. an in, supposed to be an impartial <laughs> observer? Uh, acting the way it Act, is. Uh, as, as a hmm. ceasefire, uh, when, when we should be dealing, let's say, with Indonesia, uh. or we should have Thailand as the impartial judge there. Can, can I make one comment lang about a drone attack na ginawa ng Philippines? I just find it funny na mm. kung kailan gumawa ng drone attack si, si Obama. I think in Pakistan, biglang-bigla tyran kumopia. <laughs> Nagkaroon din tayo ng drone attack. But it's just too much of a, of a coincidence. In, in that drone attack, there's something that is interesting, mm. you, you as a lawyer, that uh, could be subject for debate and discourse in the future, which is, can an American government, or for that matter, a Filipino government, using a drone, assassinate its own citizen that is known as a, as a terrorist? Oh. Th these are questions of human rights mm -hmm. and uh, international law, but that's a very interesting fine line. Mm -hmm. Can a government, using a drone, assassinate its own citizen who is known to be a terrorist? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I especially I wouldn't agree, especially if Gumo an assassination would be a foreign government. But in this uh, case, it is an American government using a drone, killing an American citizen who uh, is a terrorist. I, I, yes. Uh, you see? <laughs> yes. Uh, if, if, Ambassador Lamar, if I may move on to you. Uh, with your experience in diplomatic affairs, the, Im the impression I'm getting is that the Philippines seems to be medyo parang hindi ganun ka agresibo in, in pursuing its interest in the international or diplomatic uh, sphere. Uh, could you corroborate this or you feel that this is a uh, wrong uh, picture? Well, uh, uh, we have always been uh, trying to uh, preserve the integrity of the archipelago, mm -hmm. to, but we haven't yet defined our our uh, uh, the, the nation. Mm -hmm. We don't even know how really whether Sabah should be part of that, Layan should be part of because we have not yet, mm -hmm. as you probably know, come up with, uh, I think the Senate passed something a few years ago which would outline the, the baseline. Baseline, uh -huh. no? But that's still uh, problematic because uh, that's to be accepted uh, mm -hmm. nationwide. But can I change the discussion a little bit? Oh, uh, sure. Too? Uh -huh. and because uh, I don't want to create, as a uh, president of the Foreign Relations Council, I don't want to create the impression that uh, our biggest threat are the foreign threat. Is the foreign threat, invasion, mm -hmm. and this and that, other countries. There is such a threat. Mm. But the biggest threat is domestic. Mm -hmm. That is the biggest national security threat. When, when you say domestic, what do you, what do you mean by that? Well, we are uh, being going from a weak state to a failed state to a weak state. Okay. It's like a weak body that is now attacked by bacteria, by germs, mm -hmm. which becomes a domestic plus foreign threat because the young bacteria na yan, germs, attacks the body, the weak body. Mm -hmm. So, uh, to uh, avoid, the, to, 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 to save the body, you have to strengthen from going from a weak to failed to weak to strong state. Mm -hmm. Then you have security problem. Because mm -hmm. I really, quite frankly, do not believe that the jihad, uh, the Abu uh, Sayyaf, uh, mm -hmm. the, the NPA, and all that are really serious threats. I don't think so. Perhaps for the, for, for the present, at least. Uh. Well, uh, for the present and for the future, even less. Mm -hmm. If we can put our act together, Ah, okay. With that condition. Uh -uh. Because, uh, but, but why are we, uh, what is the biggest threat? Graft and corruption. 30% of the budget is pocketed. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh, the agriculture under productivity, uh, all of this thing. This is the threat because uh, this is agrarian military, uh, militancy. Mm -hmm. the, wha who are the uh, NPAs? These are uh, coconut farmers. Mm -hmm. uh, who are these? Uh, th things in uh, mga sa negros, for example, yeah. NPA, sakadas yan eh. Uh -oh. 
Those are those are good points. I mm -hmm. think um, we'll 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 try to explore better the 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 area of the, of the domestic threats you mentioned. Yes. But I'd like to explore one particular facet of that domestic threat, and that would be in the MILF. Obviously, this show is uh, too short to be able to discuss the entire history of the MILF. What I'd just like to ask lang is that, parang nung panoh ni Estrada parang alam ko parang nawala na siya. Then all of a sudden they're here again and they're back. Mm -hmm. What happened? Uh, everything uh, that we're discussing now here, Gemma, I know. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, if, I c if I can be modest uh, and contribute this to everybody that is listening, all these manifestations that we are currently experiencing at the national and the local level can be best described in, in, in three aspects. Number one, we are witnessing slowly the deconstruction of a republic, the unraveling of the national identity, and the, hopefully it doesn't happen, the eventual balkanization of the country, in terms not only of, of foreign threats, but because there are even voices in the South from the Visayas and Mindanao, who would say mm. we'd rather be on our own than, than be part mm. of this republic. The first one would be the... Deconstruction of the republic. Deconstruction, meaning pag watak watak ng mga institution natin? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, uh. because uh, oh, all you have to do is look at the, the level of honesty of our elections. If elections can no longer reflect the national will, then mm -hmm. what do you have? And when the norm becomes such that every pol politician has to cheat in order to win, then mm -hmm. what kind of a democracy do we have? Uh, the second thing you mentioned is the what? The, uh, the loss of the identity? The unraveling of our the national, republic. national identity. Why? Because mm. I, I'd rather be Cebuano. In fact, uh, somebody once said in Cebu, we're putting up a Cebu Republic. But hasn't it been like that before? Na parang people are more not, not as not as, uh, not as heavily impressed as today. Mm -hmm. um, at, the, uh, at, at the end of the day, uh, I, I remember uh, Rizal said, uh, no se te ipsum, know thyself. Mm -mm. Uh, what is the goal of the Katipunan? Uh, unite the heart and minds of all Filipinos. Mm -mm. Uh, uh, re Rizal also, if, if the U.S. had i pluribus unum, Rizal had unus im star omnium, one like all. It, it's, the, these are the lessons, uh, the wisdom of our forefathers continuously telling us you have to unite because your mm. th strength lies in your unity in being able to embrace together and realize the common folly that you are continuously experiencing because if you decide to divide other countries will take you over and, and speaking of divide you mentioned the third point which is in balkanization of balkanization Philippines. of the Philippines. what does that mean meaning uh, uh, Moa AD is already one of them okay you see uh, the creation of a Bangsamoro state. You know, if you read uh, the, 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 the heart of a Bangsamoro state, and this I'm, I'm willing to debate with anybody, there is such a thing as Western Orientalization, uh, Orientalism. Western Orientalism is basically, I'm a European, an American, arriving in a native country, okay, and I see that you are not Hispanized, you are not dressed like uh, a Spaniard, and you are not Catholic, uh, you belong to the hinterlands and you're a Muslim. That means you're a native and that means you're not part of a civilization. So therefore, you should act like a, uh, uh, a savage. Mm -hmm. The same policy used by the Americans in treating the American Indians was the same policy that was adopted in the Philippines to treat the Muslim problem. Now, this kind of indigenation woke up mm -hmm. what is called the national or clan identity of the Muslims. That we're not really part of this country because this, the Americans are treating us in one way. Mm -hmm. The other thing is because America always wanted to separate Mindanao from the Philippines for its natural resources. The, the interesting thing is that, and uh, we'll have to close for this segment, is that actually see Carmen Guerrero Nakpil even wrote that in her book. And one of the things that she's very disappointed of is yung possibility that one of these days, makakaganti rin yung mga Amerikano dahil sinipa natin yung basis. Yes. Uh, we'll be right back after, uh, after this break. Thank you very much.